There's so much fear around death, as if avoiding it, avoiding the inevitability of death will keep it at bay. So in our culture, we tend not to speak about it. We tend not to think about it. We keep it at arm's length as much as possible. But death is not the opposite of life. Birth is the opposite of death. Yeah? Life is not the opposite of death. It is a part of the continuum of life. Birth is the entry point. Death is the exit point. In between is the journey of life. But what we are is beyond the entry point, yeah? beyond birth, beyond the exit point, beyond death, and beyond the in-between. We can only discover what is deathless, what is beyond birth and death what is beyond the entry and the exit. We can only discover that when we meet. Death consciously, if, when we meet death in openness, as openness. It's the same as the ego death, yeah? Physical death is the same as ego death. When I say ego death, the tight knot of psychological me, yeah? The whole scaffolding on which this self-identity is based on, yeah? The whole point of being on a spiritual journey or a path of self-realization or path of awakening is to wake up out of that knot, for that knot to dissolve, so that you discover the true self. That which is deathless, you discover the true self as consciousness itself. So it's the same process if there has been a true awakening in this life, then it's very likely that there is no more fear of death. There is no avoidance of the inevitability of that because already there has been a psychological death. 